Now, Johnson County residents who are spending the night outside are finding creative ways to quench their thirst. Larry Seward is live in Shawnee with more. Now, Larry. Mark behind me, that is the box office and over the fence, that is the stage for Theater in the Park tonight show, Les Miserables. There are people that are here despite the heat and despite the boil order, even with their drinking options limited, there are hundreds here to see a show. You probably should read the program before you see the show, otherwise you're going to be really confused. With Les Mis playing, Johnson County's Theater in the Park has many regulars, including Brian Hart. Because my daughter has one of the roles in it, so we always come to see her every night. The same is true for Paul Martin and his daughter Maggie. They say her older sister is a must-see on stage. She'll wear a hat. Uh, she has you'll know she gets curly hair. Brown curly hair. Yeah. Eponine is the role. So more than most here, little can ruin the show. Not even disabled water fountains. No boil order can affect us uh, coming out here. It's affecting businesses countywide at stores like 7-Eleven and Quick Trip who can't sell their popular 59 cents fountain drinks. Blame a morning water main break. Until tomorrow evening, all drinking water must be boiled for an hour before drinking, just in time for the July 4th weekend. Minor inconvenience, not, not a major one. I, I guess if I was having a bunch of people over, it'd be a problem. To make theater goers comfortable, Johnson County Park officials set up free water stands in addition to selling coolers filled with bottled drinks. But lines were short. Most here come prepared. And with his daughter starring in a play about overcoming obstacles, it's hard for Brian Hart to complain. And that might change tomorrow when it gets to be a nuisance, but right now, and the effect is this whatsoever. The word being used here a lot is nuisance. People saying that that's all this is and tomorrow, uh, that today I guess a lot of people went to convenience stores and uh, grocery stores to stock up on bottled water, but come tomorrow evening they'll be back to normal and people here are looking forward to it. I'm going to hopefully go check out the rest of this show. We're live tonight, Johnny. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.